Hi right, guys, we're replacing the uh, low control arm and front shocks on this T5. So I've already started, I've stripped the scuttle pan at the top. I've lubricated everything so it can come off nice and easy. I'm just going to go around with it, the wire brush. And just clean everything up quick. Right now with everything cleaned up, I'm going to just give it a little extra soak. Some WD. Well, it's just maintenance spray, it's not actually WD. Let that soak as I start to take things like this off. Just pop them out. Work my way around just doing little things like that and the bolts have a little extra soak. Something to pay attention to and this is why we do our safety checks. You can see that this top leg is relatively new. And uh, let's see if we can get a torch on it. You can see where it's been fitted wrong and it's rubbing through that brake hose there. Pull that caliper off and you can see it in there. Right, so now I'm going to take the drop link off, take the hub nut off, and then the drop, the track rod end and the ball joint, take it all out as one assembly. Now that's all dismantled, I'm going to push my hand up in here, then do that 21, whilst having my other hand reached out here holding it. Wish me luck. Okay, so that's assembled there. Got a, a Ferby spring, Ferby top mount, Ferby top mount bearing. Fitted there, that's ready to go back on, but first we're going to um, strip that lower control arm off. The lower co control arm is literally two 20mm bolts there. It just falls out. Then now we've got it all into place. We're going to use a jack to set the bushes up road height. And then we're going to torque the front and the back down to 110 newton meters. And that's it all done. The heavens did open, that's why I look the way I do. But, uh, there we are, job done, thanks for watching guys, bye.